Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own Perplexity AI Assistant and how you can deploy it to your website or monetize it or just embed it on your website. So as the very first step, go to this website called pmfm.ai and then once you're here, you can sign up or log in if you have an account already. Now when, once you're on this dashboard page, go to this option that says create app. And now once you're over here, you should select the AI model called uh, Llama 3.1 Sonar Small Online, and that's the one that's with um, that is that is uh, powered by Perplexity. And then you need to provide some customization. Like for example, you can um, add a name, add a display name, city app, simple Perplexity app, and you can add a prompt so prompt means instructions how you would like it to behave so i'm just going to say something like um, um just run. so i'm just going to say something like do what the user asks and keep the response is shot but there's like a lot that you can provide over here if you're building something um that is like too specific so welcome message is something where you can provide some HTML and JS. So since I don't need that, I'm not going to do that. And then one more thing that I need is an image for my um, app. So now um, I can go to design and you can add, um, you can change the theme, you can make it light. But I, I like the dark one, so I'm going to just keep the dark one. You can change other, other stuff like background color, font color, and even add conversation starters. So I'm just going to say something like other today in SF. And um, that's all. Maybe like, um, um, yeah. Let's let's just just to show that perplexity can do that. Um, and then you can add a landing page as well if you like. So landing page is just this um, page that appears before the app if you need it. So I'm not going to do that. And finally, I'm going to show you um, something uh, to you could to monetize the app. So you can monetize the app, but you will need to connect your Stripe first. So once if you've done that, you can add um, a subscription or one-time payments to your app. You can sell chat credits. So the way it works is that every time someone uses the app, that is considered as one credit. So you could sell something like um, 100 chats for $10 or anything that um, if you plan to monetize. I'm not going to monetize it. I'm just going to keep it free. And then I will go to... Um, and there's one more thing you can do. You can turn off login. So every time someone comes to your app, they will have to log into it, but you can turn it off. Um, so that they can just use it as it is. So I'm just going to click on create app. Um, let's see. All right. So now that I've done that, I can go um, to my AI apps section and I can click on test. So this will take me to the app that I've created. Now uh, over here, I can um, I can I can um, ask for the weather. Let's see if that works. Um, Cool. So it's keeping the response shot and it's giving us the weather. But you can ask all sort of other stuff. You can customize it further. Now, if I click on refresh, I will be able to see my chat history on the left hand side. And so that's how you can you can create a custom perplexity app. Uh, if you want to um, embed it or if you want it uh, on your website, then once you launch it, there would be a code that you can use to uh, embed it. So for example, I have this coding O1 app that I've created, and if I click on embed, um, this is how embedding will work. It will give me a code that I can use uh, on my website. Same for publish. So publish is basically this option where you can publish it to your website or you can publish it to like a text app like WhatsApp. And um, so if I click on continue, then I can provide the website name and I can get I can I'll get back the NS records that I'll have to attach on my uh, on my DNS so for this we have like a dedicated demo video if you if you plan on doing this so that's how it works once once I launch it I can share the link and it would be available for anyone to use thank you